Do I need to wear this mask? Hi, my name is Dr. Amir. I talked to you in my recent video about coronavirus. Now it has a new name, Coronavirus Disease 19. But still patients and friends express fear and concerns about it. And I have been asked lots of questions. So I decided to answer some of them now to clarify and hopefully relieve this fear. Diana came to my office wearing a mask and she asked me, should I wear a mask to protect myself? There are a lot of debates about who should be wearing a mask. According to the World Health Organization, which is known as WHO, they are advising on a rational use of medical masks. That means using this mask should only be used for patients who have symptoms or are suspected of having the virus to prevent spreading the virus. On the other hand, people who are caring for suspected corona patients or healthcare workers like nurses or doctors in the medical field should wear a better mask called N95. But for the general public, it is not recommended to wear a mask because there are no proven studies that wearing this one will prevent you from catching the virus. But if you decided to wear it, Please change it frequently when it gets damp. And please don't touch the outer face and discard it properly. Carla and Lynn sent me this question. What can I do to protect myself from the virus? Virus is spread by droplets from the mouth or the nose by coughing or sneezing. So patients should cover their mouth with a disposable tissue when coughing. And if you don't have a tissue, cover it with your elbow. But the most important things to protect yourself is to maintain a distance of two meters or six feet between yourself and others, particularly from those who have symptoms. Also, you should wash your hands frequently with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or with hand sanitizer. This will kill the virus on your hands. I also advise my patient to avoid hugging, kissing, or shaking hands. The next case is from Basil. He asked, how dangerous is the coronavirus? According to a recent report from the WHO, as of February 12, 2020, the current total death in China is over 1,100 out of 45,000 cases. Although the cases are rising rapidly, the death rate is still about 2% of all affected cases. Also, there has been only one death out of 441 reported cases outside China. So far, the death rate of coronavirus is much less than SARS in 2003, which is, which is about 10%. If you want to talk about influenza, the total death this season in the US is 10,000 out of 19 million cases. Sheena asked, how long does the virus survive on surfaces? It is still not known exactly how long does coronavirus survive on surfaces. Although some study suggests that the virus may survive only a few hours outside the body, but a recent report stating that this virus can survive up to nine days. Anyway, using alcohol or household cleaning products that include bleach or chlorine can kill the virus. The next question, does the coronavirus only affect older people? People from all ages can be affected by the virus, but older patients and patients with pre-existing medical conditions like asthma, diabetes, or heart problems, or people with low immunity appear to be at more risk to get the severe illness of corona like pneumonia. So it is advised that all people should take steps to protect themselves from the virus. The next question is from Alan. He asked, is it safe to receive a letter or package from China? Yes, it is safe. And there is no risk of catching the disease. As the virus doesn't survive on surfaces for a long time, but because of a recent report stating that the virus can survive up to nine days, so I'm recommending to wash your hands with a soap or with hand sanitizer after receiving those packages. Finally, my advice to everyone, 
there is no need to panic, but we have to be cautious. Also, there is no need to wear a mask unless you are sick. It is advised to keep a two meter safe distance when you are in a crowd. But most importantly, to use a proper hand hygiene. In case you are sick with the flu-like symptoms, then please wear a mask, avoid others, and seek medical help immediately. All these measures will help prevent the spreading of the virus. I hope I cleared some of the fear and concern about this virus. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date with my latest videos. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.